You are live. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining in the live stream. Hopefully, the service is good enough, but... Let's apologize right up front for the long wait. Oh, yeah. Sorry for that. We didn't want to bore you guys standing around, it's, but I think the fun's about to begin. There's been a lot going on up to this point. <coughs> so, we got out here to Anderson, Indiana, last night, and today we're out searching for a couple missing people. Um, Ralph Belvedere. Mm -hmm. And William William Bragg. Bragg. And Bragg's um, family has actually been out here since we found the car. They got yeah, one so small we town. Are, we are spoken to the family. Uh, we didn't find them. We found a different vehicle. Right. It's a uh, Chevy Impala, which but we they, dove down on. Yeah, they caught wind that we're, we're doing in town, so they gave us a lot of information for tomorrow. So, I, I don't know if you saw Jeremy's live stream earlier, but mm -hmm. um, if you did watch it, you saw me dive down. I got a plate. The plate came back as stolen. We called the police. They came out here. So we've been out here for a while. Now we have the uh, the big wrecker out here. Well, first of all, they, they brought this uh, flatbed, and they didn't want to risk. It's not too far off. We'll walk over here. It's not too far. You can see the, actually, we took the buoy off, but it's like right down here. Um, and shout out to Northwest Towing Recovery for coming out and helping us out. Um, basically, the issue that happened was... Oh, oh. I tell you what, under under all of this beautiful, happy face, irritated, so irritated, because... It's, so, it's as you can see, I'm still in my dry suit. Politics. But if you if you look over here, you can see the dive team showed up. Dude, look at this dude. Um, this guy is like back in the vengeance. He's coming his way. Oh, sorry for shaking all this, guys. It's not really stuck at all. Maybe a foot max. Like I said, it's upside down, but I went down flat, and I could see through the windows and everything. I mean, it's at an angle. The butt's right windows. up in the air. The butt's up in the yeah. air. Yeah. Okay, because what I, the reason I was asking is they want us to look through the axle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if it's stuck in the mud, A lot of times they'll go through the window or go past the compartment with the chain cable and come back and put go in the uh, seat post. Yeah. Or, uh, I, would, I mean, honestly, I don't. I think it come out on an axle. Axle, it's it's, it's gonna be easy. Big. There's like one tree stump I know right here, but with the rotator, it's gonna be an easy pull. There's no current here or anything, so yeah, it shouldn't be any issues. Um, but yeah. And now the seat. Now help you right. What? He snapped the cable, man. I was like, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My phone is like zoomed in or something. Sorry about that, guys. My phone is going crazy. Um, basically, we were out here waiting for the big rig to come, and it showed up. And I, I got suited up, and I was about to dive down and, and hook the chain up. But then uh, the Anderson police came up and said that. Shut us down. They didn't want me diving because of liability. liability issues. Which, I mean, I I get it. Can't, but they waited until I was walking down with all my gear on. So it's a little bit. She was proactive on like. It was like the timing was <laughs> impeccable, but you know, I, yeah. now I can film the dive team doing it. So, you know, and they were really responsive. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not hating at all. And they just, was actually here earlier and then they yeah, left. Yeah, they were here. And now they're back. We called earlier, like everyone came out. Um, oh, it was impressive. It was. So. It was like three alarm fire. Yeah, they're, they're like, wow, it. they're fast. They're, they're on it, yeah, out here, so. But I'm still in my dry suit because, uh, I was told I can't go back out there, even though I already dove for liability issues. So I'm gonna try to film everyone else. Hopefully the uh, service is okay for you guys. How's it going? Right? Yeah, I dove earlier. I was getting ready to dive on it again, and they told me. I have all my gear on. I was walking down. They're like, oh, you can't do it. So I was like, okay. Yeah, we're... But it's it's straight off here, like 20, 30 feet out. We have a rope going straight to it. Okay. I have a really big, strong magnet hooked to the car. Sweet. Okay. So if you just follow our line. So or... I was, if I follow that, are they going to pop? Yeah, no, it's a really strong magnet. So uh -huh. you should be good. Ooh. And it's upside down, so the wheels are all exposed. It's nose, yeah, it's upside down, but yeah, you know, the motor's always heavier, so.
Yeah, I'm gonna go get my camera real quick, guys. So sorry, I'll try to get to y'all's questions. And sorry if the service is bad, shakiness. I was waiting to do this live stream for a while, but I was gonna do it right after I hooked on it and came out so we could show pulling in the car. But if you guys wait a little bit, we'll get this car out quick. Just wanna get my camera. So, that's the uh, Anderson Fire Department dive team. They're handling diving as I was walking down to do it, <laughs> which is fine. So now I can film it and get good, good shots for you guys. stuff later too we'll post it all we'll use it in video whenever we put up for the uh, we're gonna be searching I think tomorrow too maybe so I don't know is all people go off for anything else yeah let us know Jeremy's out there on the dock right now. Yeah, it's a stolen car. Thank you, PJ, for that donation. I appreciate that. And uh, Toehook for becoming a member. Really appreciate all the memberships too, you guys do. All the support is really amazing. We're gonna get this thing out soon.
Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Toe hook the donation and KG grass. Grass on finding a stolen vehicle. It's being removed. Yeah, it's not the one we were looking for, but you know, it definitely doesn't belong in the water. And we don't know the full story. I mean, exactly. We know it's stolen. The police ran the plate earlier, but I guess maybe we'll find out more soon, hopefully. But thank you so much for the donations. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate that. This is a uh, this is just day one of our trip. We have we're in Indiana, Anderson, Indiana. So day one, we have a lot more cars we're going out to look for. So hopefully over the next like two weeks we'll find a bunch more stuff and hopefully we can solve some cases too on this trip. Man, I'm looking a little scruffy. I'm gonna turn the camera back around this way. <laughs> Yeah, it gets kind of crazy when it's four mile cars. And I'm surprised they haven't cleared the people up here yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, this should be good. I can't imagine this would snap over, you know what I mean? That, that line. Oh, I mean, not unless it's really stuck. Not, I doubt with one of these big ones, with one of the smaller ones, we've had those lines snap before. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a video out yet. We, you know, we just found this today, so we'll have a full video out here in a, you know, a few weeks. Nugs out there <laughs> filming on that side. So they're fixing to get in the water right now. You can, you can see.
Yeah, definitely. Once they start pulling it out, it's important to stay clear of that line because that thing is a lot. That can really hurt someone from, if it breaks. But This is a big rig. I mean, this is a Northwest Towing Rotator. This thing will have no issues getting this vehicle out. And it's not that big of a vehicle. It's a Chevy Impala. And it's not really that sunk either. Not too, not too bad. Not buried under the mud down there. <laughs> yeah, Jackie, that's pretty much, that's kind of true. So uh, I don't believe there's anybody in this. We pulled the tag earlier and the police ran it. Came back as a stolen vehicle. A stolen Chevy Impala. Jeremy's over there talking to the officer. I'm not exactly sure what they're talking to. I guess letting him know where to stand and just everything like that. Just trying to uh, make the scene. Yeah, guys, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit like, and uh, if you're not subscribed, I really, really appreciate that. Also, check out Spoiling with Nug's channel and subscribe to him over there. 
trying to figure out. Let's see. I just got a lot to set up. You got this hooked up? What? Do you got this live? You guys thing? on the other side of the tape out there showing me plates. I'm trying to figure out who the plate is. I totally get it. We're the ones that are the car. We're trying to get this document. Yeah, this is what funds these guys. Sure, sure. Right. Right. That's it. Is it okay if we get on our boat and stay out in the water? That's fine. <clears throat> All right, stand by, guys. Sorry. Just give me that. You just get in. Over here. We'll lower the legs. Are oh, you gonna do that? Yeah. He's right. gonna hold it for now. It'd be nice if you had a paddle. Oh, you got a motor. All right, sorry for the shakiness, guys. We're just staying out here right, in the water. The motor Hold this for a second. You got it? Yeah. This is going to be too hard, man. You sure? Don't drop us in the water. I'm gonna try not to. I hope we got some buddies right there. Man, I'm not good at driving the boat. It's like, they don't want us to be near it, but we're the ones that found it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get our lives together. Not really, it's just, <laughs> it's just quite irritating how they're running. You know, give us a little bit of lead there. Sorry about all that shakiness. I'm trying to uh, do this without dropping my camera, my gear. I should have let my uh, my live stream going right there. Let's be able to get a good shot right here. Yeah. And we're the ones that found this thing. I mean, I get they have uh, rules and precautions, but I mean, at a certain point, huh? at a certain point, you know, it's just an empty vehicle. I don't see why the whole liability thing. Like, dude, we're, for starters, dude, we're the, we're the divers, we're the guys. Yeah, we're the, <laughs> we're the ones that do this. You know, like, I don't get it. Look at all the tape. 
For a stolen car. Oh my gosh, overkill. Right. There's no it's not a missing person, I mean. I don't even think they took the hose out yet. I think they just Thank you, Peggy, for that donation. I did see that. Sorry, I'm trying to like do so many things at once. So okay, now, divers are out there in so, the water. As you can see, now we're in the boat, we're out in the water. Because look over here, they put tape up and they cordon this area off. They are such overkill here. And I get it, they don't want anybody to get hurt. But at least give the guys a break who found it. You know, let us hang out. Yeah, I mean, we're just standing there. I know, it's just quite irritating. But sit out here and watch from a distance then. <laughs> Time for a Wasted Air podcast. That's what somebody said. Time for a wasted air. Time for a wasted air. <clears throat> Should have brought a, uh, an anchor. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, I mean, the divers aren't even pulling a cable out yet. So what they're doing is, I guess they're going to look at the car. They're going to hook a rope maybe onto the cable and pull the cable out. So, it's actually not a bad idea. So... <laughs> I don't know where you can see them, but they're right there. And I apologize if it's shaking. Can you sing while we wait? Uh, I'm good. So, did you notice that when you get in the boat in the water? Apparently, this is not their jurisdiction. Oh, really? Cat toy ladies in the chat. What's going on? So, hmm? we're out in the water. Yeah, we're out in the water because they are treating this as a, a school bus full of children. Would have said. <laughs> it's just an empty vehicle. You can see them fine? Okay. I mean, you can tell they don't deal with this. No, no. Yeah. I mean, it's good that they're taking it seriously. I think it's very serious. I can't hate on him, it's just annoying. And you know, we have the sonar set up if we need to. If for whatever reason, if something happens, we could, you know, still assist, so. Mm -hmm. I'm technically in my dive gear, kind of too, so. But we have, I don't know, we're good, we're good. Let's just see, let's get this thing out of the water. Hopefully my phone battery doesn't die. I need that dang money shot, dude. I need to start I'm gonna bring my camcorder tomorrow so I can zoom. Oh yeah, you can't zoom with that? No, I can't zoom with it. I can but zoom a little bit with this camera. I don't know if I can keep it steady if I zoom in. Or at least on the live stream. Not real steady. How much gas is in this thing? Should we put more gas in it? Uh, you might want to put more gas in it. I don't have a lot in there. So they're just hooking the tow line on it. Well, they have, okay, they haven't even grabbed it yet. No, I ain't pulled that out yet. It's going to be a second, so. If you guys have any questions for us, uh, feel free to ask. It might be a minute. You guys would have had the car out and by flatbed went out. I mean, yeah, but once you call the police and get them involved, you know, it's it does become kind of a there can become a uh, li liability technically, and they have their procedures. And I guess they don't do this a lot here. I don't know. I don't know, but it shouldn't take too too long. We we'll get more gas in the boat, and the car is upside down. So the wheels are easily accessible and what they're doing right now is they got the big rig over there and they got the line 
that they're gonna drag down. And we have our magnet on the vehicle right there. So once they wrap it around, it'll come out pretty easily. Do you have fun doing this? Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. I, can, I mean, I can't complain. This is, you know, I love being able to travel around, search on the river, get outdoors. And it, like using the sonar is really cool too because you can get, you can just see what's down on the water. I'm so irritated. Ooh. <laughs> How dare they take us out of the, the what do you call it? The front row. <laughs> Once the police is called, it's the, uh, it's in their hands. But you heard what he said. Well, we pull it out ourselves. And then call. There, there I mean, no rules, they're going off whatever the call is, what information, what's happened already, mm -hmm. what you we heard, provide. You heard this? You heard you said? Call starts when you call us. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, we pulled, we just pulled the car out of the river. Laura Gallagher, thank you so much for that donation. I really appreciate that. Love watching you guys. Do you have access to info such as last cell phone pings? Um, sometimes we don't easily. Sometimes that information is in like the databases. This one. Their cell phones were found house, so they didn't oh, have. They didn't have. Happened. So this is this was a uh, one car with two missing people. Right? Mm -hmm. um, we got some information that maybe in Alabama, perhaps. Flora, Alabama. Flora, Alabama. So if you guys know any areas to search there, let us know. Um, but we're in Indiana, where somebody's flying their drone out here. Yeah, we're in Indiana searching because that's where the database information led us to. So. We are, uh, we are on a road trip. tricks on that thing. Yeah, I know. See that? Yeah. I should have brought my uh, drone out. I know. I need to take this dry suit off. My neck's getting choked out. My face is swelling. Are your knees weak? Palms How many? <laughs> yeah, smash that like button. Really appreciate it, guys. Check out Exploring with Nug's live stream too earlier. Getting a little close there. I noticed. Come on, man. All right. Well, yeah, we found the car. We called. We already dove on it. I pulled the plate. Um, they're just doing things, you know, their way, which is, you know, happens sometimes. Uh, nobody is in the car as far as we can tell. I reached in the, um, the driver's window was down. I felt the seat belt not hooked up, so I don't believe there to be anyone in there. And they ran the plate and it was, uh. It was stolen. So very unlikely to be anyone in it. But you never know. I mean, we'll see once we pull it out. How is the connection? Is the video quality okay for you guys? Nug's boat is like, I don't know if you can see in front of that flatbed, the big boat. But this is such a small pond. We just have the little boat here. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was walking down to hook it and uh, they, the police said that they were going to get the dive team to do it so if I can here can you hold this for a second I mean I probably could do I want to let me just oh hey guys I'm just a happy a happy nose just a happy, happy nose let me all look at me there we go. Let's look at Adam. And look at this mess. All that for a stolen car found in a lake. <laughs> Do you get scared and all the windows are up in general? I don't get scared, but that's definitely a telltale sign that somebody's in it. I guess they're pulling the cable out now. I guess they got it attached to that life vest or something. Man, look at that mess. Look what, look at the mess you made. Look at these people up here. Huh? All your fault. Well, now we can hear you, Nug. 
Yeah. Look at the mess we made. People everywhere. Man. Looks like a crowd. There's definitely a crowd. I've never seen a crowd this big here. Usually it's a few people, but small town. Can y'all put the sonar down and watch what they're doing? Mm, not as well as you would think. I mean, the uh, side scan is a past sonar picture. So we have to go over it to see what they're doing. Live scan, the, the panoptics I got. I mean, it does work, but it's not really set up that way yet. So long story short, no. <laughs> you ready for this thing yet? Ready to talk to your peeps? I reckon. I reckon. I'm trying to hook up this uh, tripod setup so I can keep it still for you guys and hopefully not drop this thing in the lake. So they're out right there. Is it shaking really bad on this tripod? Let me know, guys. I'll try to keep my hand on it. Just a little bit. Yeah, you know, live streams are always raw, so. Stuff happens, but we're just all trying to get along, work together. And you know, it is good training, so they might want them to do it too. Also, we don't always have to do it. I just, I do like to do it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, we have a huge crowd. I don't know if you guys can see up there. I'll try to zoom in. There is a lot of people. It's like the whole town's out here, I think. Yeah, it's just a stolen car, but it's still interesting to see. I mean, that's, I love seeing cars getting removed, you know, even if they're just polluting the water. We try to solve missing persons cases, but the reality is there's way more cars in the river than, you know, people, which is a good thing. <laughs> um, they said they got it handled. We already asked, um, are you going to get a boat with your name on it? <laughs> Maybe one day. We got Nug's boat. So if you guys can see, they have the hook on that red life jacket. Right where they're underneath is where the vehicle is. It's a Toyota Camry. Or I mean, Chevy, uh, what am I saying? Toyota Camry. Chevy Impala. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. Chevy Impala. We find a lot of cars. You know, all these cars look alike to me. <laughs> Dive train. Well, you know, I don't know. I don't know how many cars get they find in the water out here, so it never hurts. The biggest river? I don't know. The Missouri River was pretty horrible to dive in. That was a pretty big river. The current was terrible. I kind of hope I don't have to go back. All right, guys, if you can see out there, the diver has that... Probably costing a lot, but I mean, it's it's not free. <laughs> but you know, it never. I don't know how many cars they deal with. They probably do from time to time. But we think it's good training. I don't know if they have new people. Maybe you know, it is, there's a liability thing. But they're. I think they. I mean, they're they're doing their job by the books. But that's yeah, that's normal. We're not completely by the books, maybe as much as. No, that's why we get stuff done faster. <laughs> But we don't have a rule book to follow. We're not going to get reprimanded if we do something wrong. Yeah. We're just going to make fun of each other. <laughs> yeah. We're still safe, though. Safety first. I'm not dead yet. Yeah. So I must be doing something, right? So here's a red uh, life jacket. The tow hook. 
they're dragging out. And they're going to drop down, wrap it around a tire, and then here shortly, pull this thing up. I mean, it is heavy, so dragging that out is a lot of weight. That's why they have the, uh, the buoy. When you come into Gadsden, Alabama, we've already, we've already been to Gadsden, Alabama. We found vehicles out there. Uh, I think Jeremy solved the, helped solve the case out there in Gadsden, right? Virginia or what? what who did you solve in Gadsden? What case? Gadsden. Was that Virginia? Virginia Collier was found in the woods. Oh, wasn't there one in, in Gadsden? Oh, no, that was. Uh, well, that's well, it's it's still limbo. No, I'm talking about. I'm thinking Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge was. Miriam Hemp Hemphill, Hemp yeah, Miriam's case. So hopefully we get this car out before an hour. Thank you, Kathy, for the donation. I really appreciate that. Um, it does take time. I mean, hopefully I'm doing the Usually I like to wait on these live streams until like the car is starting to be pulled out. But, you know, in this case, it is what it is. We'll let you guys see everything that we're seeing and it is a little vibrating i apologize for that we're in a boat i don't have the best setup because we weren't planning on being in this boat i kind of wish we had the big boat where I'm being too nice, maybe. Maybe not. My boat's registered. No, but they'd, they'd have to call DNR to get us off the water. Oh. Make sure you turn your damn camera on. I think Forest Ranger walked in. Where can we snail mail something? Um, I don't have an I don't have a PO box yet. I know Jeremy has one. If you guys want to send anything to him, I'll for me that's cool too. I don't know what I don't know what your PO box is. What? Somebody wants to send something. Man, uh, Candace, if she's in the chat, can drop that in there. Yeah. I don't know it offhand, but I know I got one. I'll get one eventually, but you can also send me stuff to his. Yeah. I'll get it eventually. I don't know. I mean, I'll probably go through it, and if it's candy, I'm gonna eat some of it. Candy. I know you love nerds, Maybe right? Maybe whatever it is, I'll take it and then replace it with like some Twizzlers. And you'd be like, aw. You love nerds and uh, cherry... What? Man, cherry, I like candy. Cherries? I like red vines. Red, red vines? <laughs> Smash Man, the like button. Do you think you'd have had this thing ready by now? Oh, yeah. Do you think the car would have been out by now? Probably. Definitely. That's <laughs> not the point, though, man. The, the, I, you know what? I'm sour. I'm very sour that we're out here on a boat. <laughs> well... I'm just hoping once they get it out of the water, they'll let us come. Oh, walk up close. Huh? I mean, I need the car thumbnail. I need it. Well, we'll just walk up there after it's kind of out and then just get out. I'm sure they won't care by then. Anyway. Looks like they're done. They're done. They start pulling it in. We'll see. Hopefully my uh, battery doesn't die. I don't know what percentage it's at, so. I do have, we have gas, I got a gas tank, so we're good. You know what we need? Let's say, for instance, we figured this out ourselves. Like, yeah, it's stolen. So just, okay, then we do it ourselves. When we get it out. We have all the shots we need. Then we call. We need a, a, a rotator. That's what we Dude, need. My, let me tell you something. All right. Can you imagine the winch I'm getting on that truck is sixteen thousand pounds. Yeah, on yeah. On top of a 
snatch block, on top of the fact it's a 3500 dually, you are underestimating the power of the Chevy. I'll believe it when I see it. Talk to the people in the chat. They know this will work. Certain circumstances. This would have been, I think this would have been a great test run. <laughs> the only problem is we don't have the winch, so we'd have to just drag it out. Yeah. If only you had the winch. If it was on wheels, there would have been zero hesitation. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, the background noise is peaceful? Well, I hope so. I don't want it to be annoying. So they're pulling in the divers now. I think they got it hooked in, so I think we're about to uh, see this thing come out. It's only been almost an hour. But you guys get to hang out with us. Looks like the divers got in the rig. Once they get them out of the water, they're going to start pulling this thing out. And I don't know what kind of shot we're going to get out here. I don't have zoom. <laughs> I got some zoom. I got, I got no zoom. Your Maybe. phone, you have your phone? Of course I have my phone. That's going to be better zoom than that camera. Right, we'll try the phone. Hopefully we'll get a better shot that way. <laughs> uh, we're going to be in Indiana a couple days. Maybe more. I don't know exactly. But it looks like the divers have it rigged. They're getting out of the water right now. Uh, I don't know how what kind of shot I'm going to get from this distance. But the phone's got a good zoom on it, Adam said. So maybe we'll try the phone to film this next part. Since we're right on the water. They won't let us up there. They can't control the water. Anderson's not small. Well, sorry, I, I, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know if I said it was small. I don't know the area at all. We just drove in. I drove in at 5 a.m. last night, and uh, I haven't really looked at much of the, the town, but for some reason I was thinking it was small. So, because somebody made a comment earlier that, like, this doesn't happen often. So I'm like, oh, well, it's probably a small town because usually they don't see, they usually don't see cars in the water much. Where are you going? Boatman? I'm a boat I'm a boatsman mate. I'm a boatsman master. Maybe we could go alongside the dock over there and just hold on to the side. Oh they flip the shit out, you know the road. It's a bit blurry. I'm sorry about that guys. We're doing what we can. And it's a live stream with not much service out here, so. Wow, he leaked. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where you're going either, man. Can we move a little closer? Uh, we will here in a minute once they start pulling it out. We're just trying to uh, keep the peace here. Do what we can do for you guys. We, like I said, we will have a full, uh, you know, a full edited video out in a few weeks. So. I do have an Amazon wish list. Uh, if you look in any of my main videos on my channel, you can look in the description and see that. And I do have some things that if you guys want to help support buying some gear that helps us out, we really appreciate any support. Even just watching the video, just leave a like. That'd be cool too. All right, they have the line getting tight as you guys can see. We'll 
Let's see how they have this thing hooked on here. She'll be coming. It's moving. Moving pretty quick. Well, that's the. I don't think that's. The, I think that's their makeshift buoy. Yeah. Well, you should start seeing bubbles over there. There's bubbles back there in the back. Oh yeah, there's bubbles coming out. Oh yeah. She's moving. Started doing sonar in Georgia. Nice. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a crowd of people out there behind the, the yellow tape. So. Definitely interesting to see a vehicle come out. Oh, here, here it's coming, guys. Did the line come off? Uh, the line broke? How do they have it hooked? Is that my line? I hope not. That would be really stupid. Where is my what is mine attached to? Mine's red. A red a red line. I don't know what happened guys. They something snapped though. I guess it the J hook they had around the axle came off or something. The car might have flipped upside down, you never know. But it's right there in front of him. Woo, stinks over here. Yeah. You smell that oil. This may be a minute now. Diver's got to go back down. I'm going to try to... It's getting dark. Luckily, they have lights over there. I don't know what our next podcast is. We'll try to do one at least on this trip. We're on our uh, second road trip. This is day one of our road trip, so... We're already getting a vehicle pulled out, which is awesome. Oh, dude, I think your magnet stuck to their hook. <laughs> oh. You see that? They just got it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strong magnet. <laughs> All right, so let's flip it around here. And uh, now it's the, no the Nugget Adam show. Why's that? I'm just turning the camera around for a minute. Man, look <clears> at you holding that phone. I know it's really difficult. Yeah. Like this is my bet, the best zoom I got. No, get phone. a get a fishing pole, John says. This I was hoping it wouldn't get too dark, but these things always tend to lean into the night, don't they? It's almost like they do it on purpose. Cover a darkness so people can't do what I'm doing. <laughs> Drag that bitch up. Well, they're not on a. They just gotta read. I, I wonder how they had it hooked. I don't know. Is this is your wasted air pod? This is our podcast. This is the best. Our... <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to Wasted Air Podcast. I always want to do one on the boat. Yeah, the internet's probably just not great. 
Um, it's so they can charge the. I don't know how the insurance stuff works. I guess they were saying that the tow company has to sit on it, the vehicle. They just hold it for a couple months, and eventually, getting it takes a while to get everything sorted out with the insurance companies. Are you going back? Uh, we're not going to be at this same spot tomorrow because we already cleared this whole area. Hey, this is the only car out here. So we're yeah, this is the whole. Else. We are going to probably be around Anderson. Um, I don't know exactly where, but if you guys seeing us driving around, you know, we're stopping somewhere to eat. Say hi. <laughs> wow, those are bright. <laughs> Woo. All right, so. Oh, hold on, guys. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Divers getting back in the water because the car is like right where he is. And sorry if it's grainy a little bit. Maybe I need to get that Starlink. The Starlink internet, so it's like super fast anywhere. I've never heard of it. But... Tesla, uh, Elon Musk's. Starlink internet. Starlink. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Why don't you get some? Well, it costs like a lot, I think. Sponsored. Right now. Yeah, Elon Musk, if you guys want, if you, if, <laughs> hit us up. <laughs> Man, I was so ready to see that come up. Do you stay in touch with AWP? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we stay in touch. <laughs> we do we just are we all do our own thing when we when we're in the same area if we happen to be working on one of the same cases you know we'll get together we don't have any immediate plans right now um jared and them and doug and all, they're all over the place i mean it's really just uh you know it just depends on what we're doing i guess but yeah i'm sure we will be with them again diving with them helping them out soon and sometimes we work on the same cases too so Um, yeah, I'll, Georgia, I'll make you a mod if you want to throw some links. I won't say no to that. I just made you a moderator, so you could throw whatever your links, you know, in my description or any of uh, Exploring with Nugs links. Well, it shouldn't get too much darker than this because we got that light. Their lights are pretty bright. But make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys haven't already. I would really appreciate that. Big thumbs up. Uh, we were searching for a missing person in Anderson. This is not the car we were searching for. But we found this one pretty quick, and it's just uh, it's taken a while. Just to get everything sorted out. And we found it way earlier. To, well, it wasn't too early. Actually, it was like 1 or 2 o'clock. We actually got a late start. I mean, I, I drove up here. It was like a 10-hour drive. I didn't get here till 5 a.m. last night, so I'm pretty tired today. I don't know how much more power I have in my phone. Uh, so we were searching for Ralph Belvedere and William, is it William? Bragg. William Br Bragg. Um, and we did speak to the family out here. And they seem to think that they may be actually in Alabama. Um, so, which is actually closer to us. So we, maybe we can do some more research. I mean, the information led us here to Anderson, Indiana on the database we use. So we're just here now and we're making a big round. We have a bunch of cases we're doing over the next two, two weeks. So I'm sure we'll have more live streams um, depending on what we find. It costs 700 for the Starlink. It might be worth it if we do more live streams. I'm really, you know, honestly, uh, I'm trying to get a, I need a, we, we want a cameraman. We want someone that can help us film is what we really want. So if you guys know anybody in the area, 
part time that can that's good at filming. Uh, we are searching for somebody, so just to help out with filming because it's starting to get a lot with all the rigging. I mean, in this case, they didn't want us to dive, so we're filming ourselves. But we, I am looking for a cameraman. Man, I look pretty horrible. I need a shower. What's up? I think you need a new face. I'm getting irritated. <laughs> Could have had this done by now. I know. I'm hungry. I want some booze. <laughs> nope. Sitting here watching the show. But we're giving every everybody a good show too. Are we though? <laughs> Still. Well, I seen a car. It's right there. We could have had this thing out by so much stuff. I ain't mean two mile and horn, but I mean I'm impatient. So I'll get it done. Well, we gotta stay until we get it get it out. What? Oh, I'm, I will. See. Your battery gonna die by then? I don't know. Hmm. It might. If it, it might. does, um, wait for the video. <laughs> yep. See, stuff like this is why I have such a white beard. A white beard, yeah. I need to shave too, man. My my patchy face. Joe Dirk special. What type of cameraman? I'm just looking for someone that's like interested in maybe learning, that has an eye for you know photography or, or, has an eye or for shooting. Talent, but not money. Well, you know, if you guys know anyone, email me uh, at Adam Brown Vlogs V L O G S at gmail dot com. And I'm just you're, you ever gonna get your own um, email like Adam at Brown dot com? Adam at <laughs> maybe 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 one day. Um, you want someone cheap? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, well, if anyone's interested and contacts us, we can talk about the salary. I, I honestly, I don't even know right offhand. Be a, it'd be a kind of a part-time gig per gig thing. Um, it, oh, I don't even know there's somebody behind us. All right, let's flip this back around. So if you guys are just tuning in, we found a Chevy Impala and and we, we, uh, we located it, pulled the plate and it's right here. The divers have hooked it down. We were going to, but then they said they wanted to do it. So they're about to have the same pull out. For some reason it always takes to wait into dark. <laughs> they have lights, so unless they turn the lights off, you know. Man, we got almost 800 people watching. You guys are really, really dedicated. <laughs> and I really love that about everybody watching. You guys make me want to keep going and keep pulling out more and more. Keep searching, keep trying to find more cars. It is, it is a lot of work. I mean, the editing, the filming, like the traveling, all the gas, like it's, I'm, I feel really blessed being able to do it. And I never want to do anything else, but it definitely takes a toll on you. So trying to get some more help. Definitely a, a photographer, somebody could help film, maybe an editor. Although I really like editing myself. <laughs> you had a 78 Chevy Impala, it was big and heavy. I don't think this one's too, too old. I know it was last registered in 20, 2020. But on a plate, I believe. I did see that fish jump. I 
And if you guys are wondering, they told us we couldn't uh, be near over there. So we got in our boat and we're just out here filming. So trying to cooperate as much as possible. But also get a good shot for you guys. I think it's probably better out here than up there. Maybe not. I don't know. But we'll get out and walk around the car once they pull it up. All right, so he just gave a thumbs up. So I guess they should be good to go now. You know what, I wasn't even gonna go live today, was I? I was supposed to go live tomorrow. <laughs> I guess it depends. I might not have a video for tomorrow. This might be my second video of the week. <laughs> we'll see. If we find, hopefully we can find something. I'll try to go live again. Um, my PayPal address? I'm not sure. I think if you, uh, I think you can just email my email address, my email on PayPal. How does PayPal work? I think I have a link on my channel, um, on my channel page, under my page link, so the about section, and you can click on that and copy the link. I'm sorry, I don't have it uh, set up really well, but I think you just email adambrownvlogs at gmail.com, and it should send it to the right place if you guys are interested in that. It's somewhere out there. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to make excuses. I mean, I, I, you know, it's just, we have no, this is just what they want to do. So I would love to be the one diving it. I already dove earlier, checked it out. So that's cool. Um, you know, if they want to do it, they're going to do it that, their way, which we just, at this point, we're just trying to cooperate and uh, get this thing out because that's what's important is just removing it. But that's one of the good things about what we do is there's, we don't have to deal with as much red tape. We can just go in, get out, and pull it out. Um, sometimes the cops don't even tell us they can't do anything with it, so they, they just leave it there. All right, I think I think it's coming out now. Let's see. Hopefully this time we'll, we'll get a good look. chain just popped off hopefully it doesn't sink farther no it's bottomed out right there yeah <laughs> you guys caught that live huh <laughs> that was pretty that was pretty cool i wonder what's that well i think they're using the j-hook with that that thing well, they gotta flip it now that's what i would think oh yeah i don't know what they had hooked on but it didn't last very long Uh, yeah, we're pretty sure the car is empty, from what I could tell. Looks like they're gonna rig the farthest axle and try to flip it. Yeah, they're gonna try to flip it upside down. I'm surprised they didn't start yelling at me. I told you. Get out the way.
So yeah, they're trying to flip it now. Uh, um, I mean, I don't want to toot our own horn, but we may have had it done way earlier. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. We've had issues too. We have had chain snaps on us. Gosh, there's so many people up there watching. That rope snap, but they don't come out as violent as chain snaps. Yeah, look at that crowd of people. <laughs> it's a press. <laughs> Mason, well, what, what did you do? Hey, you called. I know, it was my lovely voice. All right, let's see this thing get flipped. Trying to get the perfect shot for you guys and film on my camera. There it goes. Look at that. Oh, we got it through the wheel. Yeah. You know something about that. I do. We've almost ripped off a lot of wheels in our days. Chevy Impala. I'm interested to see how they flip it. They might. They might. Yeah, that trunk was open when I went down there. Right, go ahead and pull up. I think. You don't think so? So I guess right now they're going to clear it and look inside, just double check that there's no one in it. I didn't feel anyone or anybody. Um, try to get a better shot for you guys. And the light, I guess the other side probably has good lighting. Yeah, shit spot. Well, we kind of knew this was gonna happen, but. Once they clear it and start pulling it up, we'll just pull it. We'll get up there.
Yeah, it's just, it's just a stolen car from. Um, just a stolen car, as far as we know. Spinning it around. Well, somebody else is live streaming this too? Anderson is? They say somebody's up there live streaming? I think so, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we're live streaming from the photo, so we. Well, but their shot's probably better for lighting over there, but. Probably. I guess the next thing they're going to do is tr probably try to flip this thing up on its wheels, which should be pretty easy. They just got to rig it on the other side like they're doing. Um, so then they, and then they lower the line down and pull and it should flip on its wheels. Yeah, they wanted us to stay back, so we're gonna we're trying to wait until it's out, checked, and everything, and they're good, and then we can walk up probably closer. And I mean, we're the ones that found this thing and cleared it to begin with. So, um, come on, Nug, You're supposed to navigate. I just can't get over how many people are up there watching. Probably the most people I've ever seen. You have a community page that... Okay, gotcha. Oh, I'll get my magnet back. Don't you worry. <laughs> Let's see this thing flip over, hopefully. They might need to pull forward more. Thank you, Jason, for the donation. I really appreciate that. Nug's not sleeping. He's behind me. Although it is probably nap time. We're pretty tired. And it's hard to keep this boat. I wish we had an anchor. Huh? I wish we had an anchor. I can't hear you. I wish we had an anchor to stay still. Maybe we should have thought of that. I didn't plan on being in. All right, guys, we got the boat, the car pulled up. I got the car pulled up, and uh, they're about to flip it upside down. You can see over there, big rig. We have to go out in the boat here because they didn't want anybody near. We got a crowd of people back there watching, though, so that's got the whole a lot of the town out here. So this thing should flip over here soon. Hopefully, go smoothly. Yeah, I mean, I. You know, it just takes time. You don't want to rush anything. I'm sure everybody uh, wants to go home <laughs> soon. Thank you, Matthew for, the, Matthew, for the donation. You guys do great work. I, you know, we try. I, you know, I love what I do. I, I, 
doing it like the more cars you find you just keep wanting to find more and more and more it's like it's addicting you know whether it's just even cleaning them up out of the water or you know actually being able to help family find answers you know find where their loved ones aren't or hopefully find where they are yeah they're trying to flip it right now man i need to check my power on my phone Hold on guys, let me check my phone battery. Okay. I think I have plenty of battery, so that's good. What? Good job, buddy. You know what, I don't like being sour that much. Knock that off. Standing up there for the last four hours. Now, now. Can you guys see now? It just went dark for a second. I had to uh, check my, my phone battery. You can't see anything? See it fine? It should, it should be good now. I had to just check my, uh, my phone battery. Don't leave. <laughs> you still can't see anything? You should be able to. You might have to click off the video and come back. I don't. I don't know. We don't do. Don't click off. I can see it on mine. Is it dark for everybody? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. Can you hear me? Let me know if you see it come back. It's still black. Uh, I have no idea. I can see it on my screen. Not working. Hmm, it might be the connection. But it is, it's flipping right now. I'm sorry, guys. I had to check. It's your side. I can see it on my cam. Um. Try to fix it. Can anybody see it? Just refresh. Yeah, you might have to refresh. Cause I can see it fine on my end. Refresh the video, guys, and you should be able to see it. If you're having issues. That's not good. People are saying they can't see when I clicked off. Let me switch the camera, maybe. Can you see me here? How was that? Yeah, it looks like a spare tire. The sunroof? Sure. Well, the trunk's open. Yeah. People are saying they can't see. I'm sorry, guys. I don't, I don't know. The camera... I can see it on my end. Maybe, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry guys. Has nobody been able to see it right now? Well, I don't want to stop the live stream. It'll probably be on there when I end it and you guys can go back and watch it. That's, I hate, I don't know how to refresh it. Can you refresh this? Ugh. Enable fly, um, 
Did that do anything? What about now? I can see it on my screen. Not sure what to tell y'all. I don't have a way to refresh it. I mean, I can see it on my end. My camera's not paused. People are saying they can't see it at all, dude. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe it'll be there on the, after I end the live stream here. Flip the camera to the other side? Does that, does flipping the camera to the other side work? You have to do play by play. <laughs> well, the car is on its side right now. Um, it hasn't been tipped over yet. You can hear me, but nothing. I don't know. My battery's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Well, I don't know what to do. I can't just stop and st start it. Sound only. Ugh, iPhones. You guys still not see anything? Nug's not live streaming. Are you live streaming? No, I'm just filming this one. I'm zoom. There's no lens cover, guys. I don't know. I'm sorry about this. I guess I'll have to end the live here. I, well, I can see it. Maybe it'll be on the final one when I stop it. So all I can tell you guys is just wait here in like 30 minutes when we're done and then come back and check it out, which I hate to have to do that. Technical difficulties, I guess. That's a live stream for you guys. Nug's not live. Nug doesn't have, he doesn't have one. I don't know how to restart. I don't know if there's a way to restart. Let me try one more thing, but it might end the, uh, Hold on. There goes the car. And... Everybody's cheering up there. There it is, Chevy Impala. Can't see. I'm back? I'm back now? Okay. You guys can see? I don't know, I don't... Well, they just flipped it. Awesome. All right, I don't know. Maybe it was the internet connection. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, so they're out there checking inside. Pretty darn satisfied. I mean, just a stolen, stolen vehicle. You want to 
risk getting out of the boat. See what they if they get mad at us. Where are you going, man? Don't do anything that's working. I don't know. Go back closer, because I think the, the, the video might cut back out. Fish came out of it. Once they start moving, it pulls some getting out. Oh, okay. My, truck, the bubble was out. my truck's over there. Did you guys see the flip when it fell down? I'm still alive, yeah, I came back. What? Alright, so we just got that car pulled out of the water. Well, we actually found it. The record company did a great job of getting it out of the water. It's like it's an old, I can't tell the color. 14 Chevy stolen, nobody inside. There will be a full video. Yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging in there. I don't know what was going on earlier with the technical difficulties, but uh, yeah, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate it. We'll try to get a closer look here soon. They didn't really want us to get closer earlier for whatever reason, even though it's an empty car. Uh, I don't know. It's It's been missing for a couple years, though. Yeah, everything should, I don't know if it was delayed when the black screen was happening, but you should be able to see it in the final later video, hopefully. Dude, the plate expired in 2020, so I think it was a, what year was the car? 14? We're talking about that. Yeah. 15. That's a 15? No way, it's 14. 2014 Chevy Impala.
Why don't you just pull up right here? Pull the front. Oh, my legs. Backing up, get ready to pull this thing away. Just maybe. Maybe, heck. Oh man, you're going to yield at Oh, control. Get arrested now. I'm trying to set up the uh, live stream here. You guys? Well, they spoke to us earlier, but not recently. there and get close. We'll just walk right here. Alright guys, I'm going to leave the live here for just a minute and go ask him.
Oh, look, a camera. Someone's live streaming. Why? Yeah, I appreciate it. I know that took a while, but uh. <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, if I could have done, I wish I could have dove it earlier, but. Yeah, so it makes sense that you guys. I don't know how often they do it. It's good training, I guess, for the dive team, too. So they probably wanted that. Well, yeah, that, I mean. But we cleared it. I know they were really standoffish, not wanting us to be close by. Fish? <laughs> yeah. Thanks again, man. Appreciate it. All right, guys, there it goes. You're still here? No, that's not old. There it goes. Well, shit. Pretty pissed off a bunch of people. I mean, there's not much we can do. That wasn't supposed to take that long. Random back in here and just start looking. Say it again? Did you just have random back in here and just start looking? No, we, we came here with a purpose to, we were looking for a missing person. We went missing in 2015. And him and his buddy actually went missing in their car. So we got here looking for cars. We found this one. It wasn't the car we was looking for, but... Okay. So yeah. you just came here looking for a car. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. for any... Yeah. Anything, but... You heard... Did you hear what the, uh... The guy... The to uh, the boss man said? Uh-uh. He's like, don't find anything else till Monday. <laughs> we told us. I'll try. <laughs> Let you know. Uh, it's not our fault. We would have had it done way earlier. <laughs> I feel like. Oh, yeah, definitely. I don't know how they I mean, they, I think they use the J-hooks, which I don't like the J-hooks because they can come off. Mm -hmm. The chain and then, the, the, like, we would have we had it, I think. Yeah. But let's, uh, let's end this live stream <laughs> so we can finish our video and then get the boat. So I feel like we need to get out of here. People aren't too happy with us. Not the people in the boats, no. I think you're This right. is the only, only ramp. Especially that, that lady. She didn't sound very happy at all. Well, they didn't let anybody come back out. There's no way to get your boat out. They probably plan on leaving hours ago. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all watching the live stream. I didn't want to be out here either. I'm just saying. I know. I, was, <laughs> I mean, we would have been done. I don't know. They, you know, they had... There's no... no can't No cry over spilt milk. But I love they it. got it out. You know, they responded quick. Yeah, did you touch my butt? I, no, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, that kind of party. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to check out your live stream earlier. We'll have full videos of this. Hopefully, we can put something together. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that'd be a good video. I, I think we're going to keep searching. My camera... Why well, my camera's over there? My camera died. My GoPro's running, but I don't know. No, all I, right. got, I got lots of charging to do. And I, I got my magnet. I did get it. So you got my rope in there? Yeah, I got it all. Did you put it away for me? It was 10.30, dude. I know. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to end this live stream. Uh... I don't know if I'll do live again. If we find another car and it's... Yeah, dude, look at my third eye. A, a good zit. situation. We might try to live stream again. When's your next video coming out? I don't know. <laughs> this week? The plan is Wednesday, but I haven't even <laughs> started. I don't even know. I have to look. I got something coming out. And maybe we'll do a, uh, this might be a, a big... Wasted Air podcast this week. But we'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. I'll see y'all on the next adventure. Oh, yeah. Oh, Only yeah. Uh, 115 minutes. Was that two hours? That's all right. Six, right. Later, guys. Have a great night.